In this video, we will discuss how do you set up for the course. The first consideration is to make sure that you have an appropriate LAMP, MAMP, WAMP, or XAMP installation in place. The reason why this was chosen for the course is that the majority of projects involving MongoDB will be web-based. PHP was chosen because of its understandability and popularity. There will be a series of videos in the installation and configuration chapter which will talk about how to install MongoDB and also how to install various programming language drivers. We'll spend a little bit of time on Windows right now as this is very likely going to be your environment. On this demonstration server, we have XAMPP running. You'll notice we've started Apache and also FileZilla so that we can transfer files into the demo server. You'll notice that we do not have to have MySQL running. When you're installing the PHP programming language driver, it's important to know how your system was compiled. To do that, you can click on the admin link, which takes you to the XAMPP main screen. You can then run PHP info. This will tell you several important pieces of information. First of all, the version of PHP which is running on your system. Secondly, you'll need to know which version of the Microsoft Visual C compiler was used to compile your version. If you're running Mac, or if you're running Linux, you don't have to worry about this aspect. And finally, another very important consideration is whether it's thread safe or non thread safe. TS indicates thread safe, NTS indicates non thread safe. You'll also notice the version of Visual C is indicated here as well. As you will see on future videos, you can download the Windows PHP driver from s3.amazonaws.com drivers.mongodb.org, PHP, index HTML. The next question is which driver to download. The answer is quite simple. Download the most recent version. When you unzip it, you'll get a series of choices. You'll notice that they are grouped according to the version of PHP. This group is for 5.2. This group is for 5.3. This group is 5.4. And the last group is for PHP 5.5. As you'll notice on the demo server, I am running PHP 5.4. Accordingly, I would select one of these four. You'll notice that there are two variations. One is for the x86-64 architecture. The other is for standard architecture. You can go to the Windows Control Panel and go to System to find out which architecture you are running. You'll also notice that it indicates which version of the Visual C compiler, in this case, Visual C 9. And as you will recall, the version shown is thread safe, Accordingly, we would pick this as our driver rather than the NTS, which is the non-thread safe. So we take this driver, we would then copy it to the XAMPP installation folder. We would locate where PHP is installed. We would then find the EXT folder, and this is where the extensions reside. It's recommended that when you copy the driver in, you rename it to something simple like PHP underscore Mongo dot DLL. Next, you need to make an entry in the PHP INI file. For that purpose, you go to Config, locate your PHP.ini file, and add an extension directive. Make sure that the extension directive matches the new file name that you gave the downloaded file. You can then restart Apache, and your installation is now ready to handle MongoDB. It's also important to understand how to open up a command prompt or terminal application. If you're running on a Macintosh, you need to look under Applications for something called Terminal, the Terminal Application. For Linux systems, you can usually hit the keystroke combination Control-Alt, letter T, which will open up a terminal. Alternatively, you can go to the Start menu for your version of Linux and search for Terminal. In the Windows environment, you would go to the Start menu, All Programs, Accessories, Command Prompt. Or, alternatively, you can type in CMD right here, and this will open up a command prompt. Much of the work that we'll be doing in this course is command line oriented, as we will be working directly with the MongoDB command shell. The installation of MongoDB itself will be covered in the installation lab. There is also a working files folder which contains demo files which are used as part of the program. In addition, there's a series of lab files which are located under the working files folder. It's recommended that you download or copy this folder into your own home folder. For the demo test programs, you can easily run PHP from the command line. 
And finally, there's sample data, which is located under the Working Files folder for each chapter. This sample data can be imported into your MongoDB installation. The sample data is generally in what is called a JSON format. So for example, we have MyDB underscore customers, which is the MyDB database, the customers collection. So in review, make sure that you have a LAMP, MAMP, WAMP, or XAMP installation. For the command line, for Mac users, you would look for the terminal application. For Windows users, from the start menu, you can simply type CMD. For most versions of Linux, you can type in Control alt letter t The installation of MongoDB will be covered in the installation lab. You can download a copy of the Working Files folder for ready use. The demo test programs can be executed by running PHP from the command line. In some cases, we will also be directly interacting with MongoDB using the Mongo command shell. And finally, the sample data will be located in the Working Files folder for the various chapters in the course.